Good morning, guys and gals. Thanks so much for tuning in again to another episode here on Hook, Line, and Singer. I am your resident singing fisherman, Bob Sellers, and I'm glad that you're here. It's a beautiful morning in UCLA. That's the upper corner of lower Alabama. That's where we are. And uh, it's about 60 degrees starting out this morning. It's the first day, uh, I think, of the year that I've left the house without any type of a sleeve on over over my shirt. So I'm excited about the weather. I'm excited about turkey season coming up soon. And uh, we're back here at Bear Creek, one of my favorite places in all the world. And we're gonna target crappie again today. And uh, in addition to doing some jig fishing, we're gonna also be trying some uh, live minnows, some uh, toughies as some people call them, and floating those under a cork about two or three feet deep and see what'll happen out here at Bear Creek. But again, thanks so much for being with me. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click that bell so that you'll get notified when I post a new video. Let's catch a fish. Just got these minnows uh, out of our pond here. When I go fishing, I put them back in this little deal here and uh, just toss it over in our pond. We got a regular slip bobber rig here, as you can see up on the line. I've got this bobber stop tied on the line so that it'll only go, the cork will only slip that deep. Small weighted sinker right there. And uh, I think this is a number six a straight shank crappie hook. And uh, I've got that tied on using a snail knot that's my favorite knot for this type of fishing what we're going to do is reach in here and get us a get us a little toughy i like to go in their mouth and then right out the top of their nose don't go too far or you'll go in their brain and then you won't swim very well now let's flip him out here next to one of these columns See what'll happen. Oh, that's just right. This is the simplest style of fishing in all the world. Now we sit and wait. Uh-oh, one's got it. There we go. First cast, I don't know if that's a good sign or bad sign. We got a nice crappy. Come on back, boy. Good fish. Good fish. Nice little black crappie to start the day. There he is. Hey, on first cast like that, you're going in the bucket, buddy. I may, I may fillet some crappie today. Let's catch another. Uh-huh. They say a fish on your first cast is bad luck. But I say a fish on any cast is good luck. See that bobber moving? That, that little toughy is swimming. That's what you want him to do. Oh, got robbed. Got robbed. I'm going to try not to bust my rear end right here before the day is over. <laughs> but I would not be surprised. Boy, he's swimming. He's probably trying to escape something. Y'all hear those airplanes buzzing overhead? We are one county over from a strategic Air Force base. That's Columbus Air Force Base in Columbus, Mississippi. And man, they dogfight all the time around here. Kind of get in your head sometimes. Here. I'm going to try to get to the right side of that stump over there. Without going in that tree. There we go. Okay. Oh, don't get around that. Come on. nice crappie. Nice crappie. 
I may have to bring this one to the bank. Come on down here, buddy. I've got four pound test line on here, or on a leader. I don't want to snap it on a big slab crappie like this. So I'm just going to drag him up. There we go. There we go. Fish number two. Boy, is that a beauty? This is, this is one of my favorite types of fishing right here. Nice, nice fish. Let's get a little more, more water in this bucket. Boy, he likes to swim out. See that? <laughs> All right, in the bucket you go. Thank you, Lord. Let's see if I can get there from here. Same place, but it'd be a lot easier casting. Uh huh. I know there's more than two in there now. He's not swimming around as much under that bobber. That could be the difference. There's a fish. Another good one. That's a little better fish there. Another good one. That's perfect. Right there in the roof of his mouth. That's where you want it. Boy, I couldn't have slung him off. I hope this is as fun for y'all as it is me. Try it way over there. Always want to test your drag, make sure it's not too loose, but with four pound line, you want to make sure it's not too tight. You'll notice what I've started trying to do is when I catch a fish in one spot, go somewhere else with the next cast, let that spot uh, settle down just a little bit because these crappie are are very, uh, very shy. Little disturbance in the water. Sometimes just catching a fish out of that spot is enough to just kind of spook them. So I let that spot rest a little bit. Try to catch one in another spot, then let that spot rest and keep going back to them. Yeah, I've got a Fluger President XT size 20 or 2000 uh, spinning reel on a Shakespeare micro series seven foot rod light action a lot of fun on here and I'm using a 15 pound braid for my main line and I've got a four pound high-vis monofilament leader tied on about seven eight feet long and usually, if you're going to catch a crappie, kind of the same when you're fishing for brim, um, it's going to be not long after that bait hits the water. If you throw it on him, you'll normally grab it pretty quick. There's a little bit of work involved in fishing. <laughs> Today's devotion is kind of neat. This is from Isaiah 43, uh, Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 20. The beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls. 
because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. Did you know even the beast of the field and the dragons, wherever those are, and the owls? That just means all the creatures uh, honor God. So what in the world should we be doing? Think about that. Let's do something today to bring honor and glory to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and help lead someone to him. God bless y'all. Hear those cranes cutting up again? One thing that's always tickled me about fishing, if I were standing over there in those trees, I'd be trying to get over here next to this bank. But I stand on this bank, and I try to get over there next to that bank. Same thing, if you're in a boat, you try to throw close to the bank. If you're on the bank, you try to throw it out as far as you can. <laughs> All different things to try to catch those little green fishies we're always after. This minnow is among the dearly departed. So I'm going to get me a fresh minnow on, try to hook him a little better. All right, now that minnow just started moving. I saw it when it got after him. Did y'all see that? And Lord have mercy, I have missed him and I'm all tangled up in this water oak limb over me. Okay, we're free. But what I was saying is I knew I was about to get bit because you could see that minnow. And when I say see that minnow, I saw the bobber start to move around a lot more. And what that means is that minnow knows what a crappie is. And there he is. I got him that time. Uh-oh, not a good fish. Oh, uh, is that a crappie? No, it's a catfish. Little channel cat. Come on up here, buddy. Uh, get him just like that. You want to get him between. See, that's a spine right there. See how stiff that is? He can put it down, but I can't put it down. And that will go all the way through your hand if you aren't careful. So I got to get my pliers. Try it hold. Man, man. Tell you what. I'm going to let him go. My split shot had slid toward the hook a little bit, so I pushed it back up. I'm going to get my pliers and uh, tighten that down. That may, that may be the difference. I'm going to slide it up just a little further. With fishing, sometimes the difference between fishing and catching is in the smallest detail. Every little detail matters. Look at him going. There may be a crappie nearby. I should have got here a little bit earlier. About about daylight. Boy, they have just quit been at least an hour since I had a bite. Making that way It's just a little bit more than the law will allow. I'm just a good old boy. You know my mama loves me. She can't understand why they keep showing my hands, but not my face on TV. <laughs> Hey, thanks again, guys and gals, for tuning in to this uh, episode of Hook, Line, and Singer. I hope you enjoyed my little trip down to Bear Creek. 
it's a place you'll probably see me going often as often as i can at least i just love the peacefulness and the serenity of it all hearing the birds uh listening to the water catching a fish every now and then but really down there for me it's all about the experience if you have a local creek similar to that nearby it's some of the funnest uh, fishing you can do in all the world i highly recommend it hey i hope you'll like this video please be sure to subscribe to my channel and be sure to click the bell to receive notification of when I upload a brand new video, which I plan to do weekly. So far, I've been able to do that at least weekly, every now and then, maybe more than once a week. We fish, we hunt, we cook, we sing a little, and we have a devotional with almost every video. I appreciate you all more than you know. Hey, God bless you. Remember, I love you. God loves you. Bye.